Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, bringing you another Valheim video today and this one is going to be a guide on how to prepare for the upcoming content. So this will cover how you train your skills, the updates in the roadmap, the next biomes we can expect, that sort of thing. So first things first, if you take a look at the roadmap for Valheim that they posted early on, you'll notice that they don't really go into detail about what each upcoming update will include. We know that supposedly there's going to be at least four more bosses, along with an area we can travel to famously known as Valhalla, but here's something interesting that they don't really tell you about. So you'll notice on update 4 how it says that Mistlands is going to be a new biome. Now normally this might make people nervous because with the game being procedurally generated, that can mean under normal circumstances that we might need to reset our servers, or that issues may arise and an entire biome may spawn on top of something very crucial. Well, the genius behind the Valheim developers has led them to already include the Mistland biome in everyone's seed from the very moment the launch went live. You might have already seen it, but the Mistlands along with two other biomes are already available in a very early state in everyone's world. This allows them to seamlessly transition all that content into the game without messing up everybody's seeds too much. The Mistlands so far is a dark desolate forest that's filled with spider webs and giant skulls, and I'm sure we can already guess what's going to be spawning here when they finally introduce it. The cool thing though is that right now, even though nothing hostile spawns in it currently, you as the player can still travel to it and build in it. Along with the Mistlands, there are two other biomes available currently. The Ashlands located in the south which is already filled with the Sirtling mobs that drop the cores and allow you to mine a resource called Flametal, and the Deep North. Very similar to the mountain biome, but very much like the Mistlands, currently does not spawn anything at all. So of course the first thing to do in preparation of all of this, make sure you take out the first five bosses, from the deer all the way up to Yagleth, and make sure to save the fifth boss's placeholder item. It might be worth farming it a few times, so when we do get this new content in the future, you'll be more than ready for it. You'll also want to make sure that you conquer the plains biome. Get yourself a full kit of padded armor, and whatever black metal or magically infused weapons you need. Still seems like the Draugr bow is the best we've seen so far, so here's the recipe for that. Now if you haven't already, this would also be a good time to get the food situation under control. By this point, you should have yourself a carrot and turnip farm going around on the clock. If my calculations are correct, it should take about an hour and like 15 to 20 minutes for your crops or seeds to be harvestable. Also make sure you get yourself either a boar farm, a wolf farm, or both. Boars will eat the vegetables or even fruit, so they should be easy to tame and keep up on. That'll start to give you a good supply of meat and leather scraps. For the wolf, they'll act as hunting companions and also protectors for whatever you come across. It is possible to also put them on boats if you need to transport them back to where your main base is. For them, they love to eat the raw meat, so this is another good reason to have a boar farm ready to go. For the good food, depending on your situation, you can either keep a stockpile of sausage, berry jam, cooked fish, lox meat, sea serpent stew, or even carrot and turnip stew. If you need a better way to farm Draugr intestine for the sausage, highly recommend finding a Draugr spawn in the swamp and then keeping a forward operating base nearby. Also don't forget about the healing mead. That'll come in handy in the future for conquering the upcoming content, especially if you play solo. Would be a good idea to get a stockpile of that going while you can. Skill wise if you want to train them up, for melee weapons you can bash on a tree over and over and even though it does zero damage, you'll still be gaining weapon experience the entire time. You can also do this with boulders or giant skulls, anything of that nature. Works the same with bows too. Let the cursor turn yellow while drawing the bow back and you can fire it off at a tree over and over to gain skill. For something like jumping, running, sneaking, or swimming, just do that repeatedly. Also making a small hut and crawling into it might help level your jump even faster. Then once we get to the biomes themselves, here's the first thing you should do. Head towards the Ashland biome first. So far this seems to be the only upcoming biome that has a resource we can currently harvest. And that might be a hint that even though the Mistlands is set to come first on the roadmap, we might get a new tier of gear made from this stuff around the same time. Because of that, try and get yourself a stockpile of flametal. You should be okay to mine it with something as simple as an iron pickaxe. If you've already killed the dragon boss at this point, you should have a recipe to create the blast furnace. That'll be the station you need to refine this. Get a couple stacks of this stockpiled and then you can leave this biome alone for now. The next one to focus on will be the Mistlands. Because this content is already available to us, it might be a good idea to build a forward operating base either directly in the biome or next to it. Make sure there's a portal going back to your home base if you need it. 
With the highly elevated trees in this biome, this is a great opportunity to build yourself a tree house. Only thing is that in the future when they introduce the biome, creatures might spawn directly inside it or a dungeon might generate into it. Might be worth building a few different ones just to be safe. Then as long as you have a decent food supply nearby or within it, keep a stockpile of iron and other metal bars you might need for crafting, and keep your skills training during this downtime, you should be more than ready by the time this content makes its way to us, and we'll probably get more combat related content before this biome arrives. I'm starting to think a Fenrir boss might be in the works as one of the remaining four, possibly within this Cult of the Wolf update. But that's all I've got for now, hopefully that helps you a little bit or gives you some ideas on how to prepare, and have a wonderful night or day. Farewell.